So the first thing we are going to start with is creating the title. So you're going to click on the actions. After you click on insert, you're going to click on actions and then you're going to click on word art and this allows you to insert word art as a picture um, and edit it any way you like. And then you can use the paint can to change the color and you can use these um, like lines. I don't know what they want to call. It's the line thickness and that helps uh, change the thickness of your lines. I like to use a handwriting font as in like one that kind of looks loose it isn't a serif font which looks kind of stricter and you can change it to whatever color you like for this theme I chose blue and I chose to keep the thickness relatively large um, just to ensure that uh, you can see what I am writing so as you can see the thickness is four instead of one as it that's the default once you do that you can click break text or wrap text either one you like but you just want to unhinge it off of the page and you can set that to the middle and once you do that you're going to press fix position on page so that it doesn't move so i like to keep my margin zero and, and kind of keep it to the right but you can change this however you like and then we're going to move on to text and positioning so i use serif fonts uh again the ones that look look really sharp and uniform i use those fonts for my actual writing and my text as it just makes my writing look a bit more uniform so once you figure out your title as i am struggling struggle art <laughs> I'm struggling all around right now and I keep all of my serif fonts bold. I'm using I think infra uh, Frank rule uh, That font right now and of course you can do it however you like I just like to use this for this theme and as you can see I was selecting my different bullet points You can change the color if you just select the bullet point and you can select any bullet points you like I just prefer uh, Actually circle so you'll see me change from this and then you want to do a sub a sub like a uh, bullet point which just press tab and I if you want to type in a definition I prefer to highlight instead of underline so if you're defining a word then you just highlight it and then follow up with the definition I also ended up changing the font to Carla just because I like it it's a little bit darker and I do recommend having a dark font for your text especially if you're using like blues or yellows or like any other color than black because it can get difficult to see um, and then this is really important you are going to make that your highlighting format your regular normal text format and any other format and this just allows you to um, be able to type without having to set the format every like five seconds and then i you know carried on filling out the format if you want the link to this format or anything i used you can download uh, it in the description free of charge i'm not going to charge you for my note template just use it as you wish and again change the color of your important text messages or <laughs> text subjects actually um, so if you have an important section you just want to change the color and that just helps it pop as you can see now bullets formats and columns of course we went over formats and bullets however the columns are like really important to me especially if you're using maths or sciences so here i kind of give you a rundown on it so i like to use the zero one um numbering i just feel like it looks the best um and i like the way it looks really scientific i use it for my research papers etc and i use this numbering when um writing out my science like i said i would recommend keeping it to three uh, numbers or more do not ever do less if you do have like a one or a two i'd recommend using bullets but that's just me and then we're going to cover how i insert my ghost columns or write words in a column so they do have a column function however you aren't able to control um where the words go so what i recommend doing is inserting a table so uh if you insert the table and turn the color white then no one can see that there's a table there but you can still write in uniform columns and i think that's really a uh, really good touch to add to any note paper and then what i like to do if you are printing out your notes is to 
print out a little section for like handwritten notes so as you can see at the bottom I do handwritten notes and that leaves a little area for um, me to write out what I need to write out and that about does it for this video thank you so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed again if you want to see a different format one that's a little bit spicier than this one then stay tuned for next week's video and I will see you all later bye